pound tritanium. I like it a lot, but the thing about it is that it's I tritanium is an awesome line. I just I can't believe the, and I, I am going to say this literally, the moron who decided to discontinue the gold. Just gotta buy it. Gotta buy it. I think I gotta buy it. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. Line of the titanium is mad, and actually, that's what the gold titanium looks like right there. See the bright, yeah, it was awesome, awesome. We liked it because it was bright, you could see it, and man, we used it for all our cast outs. The 100 pound test we used for all our run outs, and it was just unbreakable line. And that's probably why they discontinued it is because nobody really had to keep rebuying it, you know, once they bought it because it lasted forever. And, you know, I can see that point. But on that, they, yeah, they should have let that line rock and roll. Man. It was awesome. And then they wouldn't build any of the heavier lines with bright colors like this. So we couldn't get like 40 or 60, 80 in this bright color. They had it, either the white or that dark green. And we didn't. I thought it busted, that's why I let it go and it, it was actually still connected. <laughs> oh, yeah. So with like the, the hollow core, do I soak, I just pour water on it to cast it out or soak it in water? Or? Just before you do your cast. Just Pour water on it, that way you can uh, wet the line and so forth. Normally what, what uh, they were saying too is like they would do a simple cast to uh, get, you know, after they did the first wet, they would do a simple cast, not a power cast, to get deeper in the spool and then re-wet it and then pull all of that back in so that way when it did go through it would it would be further deeper wet, you know what I mean? Huh? That was great. You get to throw harder. Yeah. And you don't got to worry about popping off. As long as the braid is wet. If the braid is dry, then yes, you do have to worry about it popping off because it, it builds up so much friction as it's coming off the spool and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I use straight 80. I, like all of mine, straight, straight braid. I don't put any mono top shots anymore. Yeah, on that one, so it'll be like 60 pounds, as much as it goes, and then down spool it and see how much of the 80 pounds go for a top shot. Okay. 80 pounds or... Uh, the diamond again? Yeah. Can you check to see if that spool has a hole in so I can put the, dr the brake in? No, 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 like a little locking hole? I think so. A little. How you doing, boss? How can I help you? It's pulling? Okay. And pardon pardon the shop stink. Our bait <laughs> died on us this weekend and we didn't know until today. I can't smell bad, so oh, okay. Good. You're golden. Alright guys, I'm gonna be spooling up this Siegler. What size is this one, bro? That's a, I don't know, man. It's just a Siegler SM. A Siegler SM. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't even gonna try guessing. <clears throat> so, we're spooling up this Siegler. It's about that big. So, as you can see, it's really small, but, um, we're going to be splitting it up with the 60 pound diamond gen 3 hollow core for max line capacity and for casting and also too we're going to download it some more so we can put an 80 pound top shot of the diamond so we can be doing this power cast off the beach with the 14 foot all right okay. 
So, <laughs> what are y'all talking about? What about it? Oh, when I max it out? Yep. Yeah. Like four times. Oh, the Everall? Everall. Yeah. Yeah. After everything was said and done, he ended up getting his money back because they didn't stand by what they said they were going to do. Um, they said they were going to find out and fix the part and then send him a whole new reel after everything was said and done because it got abused in shipping back and forth, back and forth, and stuff like that. So he ended up just getting his money back on it and stuff. So. That's a lot of play in that reel. I was just waiting to spend my money like on a 130 or something. Yeah, and then it was cheaper. He ended up saving himself $1,000, which ended up paying for his uh, spooling as well. But he already had his braid here, you know? So <laughs> it's like. <clears throat> All right, so let's go and get this spooled up. Come look at your housing. Right here on this left side. Watch it. Like it's moving, moving. Like the whole thing moves. It's on, you're recording, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, at least so. Uh, well, you can send it to Siegler. Do I go ahead and keep going? Because that looks extremely weak. Like, yeah, because it's an open. It's an open look, look at that! Look at that! The whole thing just moves, oh, and I and I ba and I barely got any tension on it. You know, just enough so I can keep the braid tight. Yeah. Uh, let me re record this. Then I'm probably gonna send it. I'll send it back to to Seagull to see what warranty could be done on it. Because it has lifetime warranty. So I mean. Am I gonna go? Yeah, just just uh, I'll record and I'll, I'll have to send like an explanation of the warranty. Mm -hmm. Can you see it moving? Yeah. Wow, bad. That's. Mm -hmm. That scares the hell out of me, bro. Yeah, yeah, because you can see two screws over here. Yeah. That's it. I see one here. That's all I see is that one. I don't see another one. Yeah, it's one screw, and I think the other ones hold on by where the handle is. Do you have your signature with you right now? Uh, yeah. We could try to com compare it because he has it at the same room. Yeah. You say it just keeps pulling it, and I'll, I'll, I'll mm. shut it out. Like, that, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Oh man. And and the braid, like I said, the braid's not even tight. Like, I, look, this is how much tension I got on. I'm able to keep it up this way without even burning or cutting into my hand. So it's not a lot, but it, it's it's enough to um, keep it. You know, it's tight enough on the spool. So. So I'm at 150 yards right there. I'm gonna stop here because the customer that wants it top shotted, I need to know where he wants me to switch over to the 80 pound. Um, so I need to mark the line so that way when I download, I can stop exactly where he wants it. And he'll know his line capacity. So give it a second. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Yeah, that really scares me. You can see the whole housing move. All right, so you said you wanted me to top shot it with 80, right? Yeah. Okay, so right now I'm at 150 yards of 60. Okay. If I mark it, I mean, do you want, I need to know how much backing you want after the 80. That's basically my question. All right, so do you want more 60? Because. Uh, so that was 160 yards? 150. 150? Yeah. Uh, put the top shot of 80 or 80. Already? Okay. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll mark it so we can get the max line capacity, then downs bullet to yeah. there. That way we know exactly where your top shot is at. You know what I mean? Does that jack work? Yeah. You don't need a jack? He has a flat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it works. I just I the only thing I don't have for it is a little pole. I think I might have a pole. But uh I, I was that. using uh, just a regular pipe and yes. it, it, do you do you have like a air tech with you or not? Yes, I think I do. Because what happened was that tire, I patched it up like last week, and I guess he did a shitty job or something. Mm. So I'm trying to see if I can find a tire shop to patch it up. Mm. There's a tire shop right across the highway. Right across the highway? Yep. Oh, yeah, discount. Right. You look out the door, it's right there. Discount tire? Yeah. Oh, wow. I have warranty with them, actually. Well, then, boom, there you go. Okay. Hey. Oh! Okay, well, <laughs> I almost cut it. Um, let me go and get it uh, finished, swollen up. Hopefully, it don't break right there, but... I'm going to cut it there anyways once once I get it back down. For this Siegler that has a lot of line capacity, um, open spool area, this is probably where I would stop if I was doing casting out. So we're at 260 yards. All right, so this is where I would stop. And since what we're going to be doing with this one is we're going to be downloading it to the 150 yard mark to put the 80 pound on there and stuff. So keep it going. Morning. Here's the 80 pound diamond that we're going to be putting on top shot. And y'all didn't find a. No. I'm going to have to drill a hole real quick. Y'all going to use a jack or? And I see that the discount tire is over there. Oh, just air it up and. Yeah. Take it over there and patch it up. Because I had it patched up recently, but I guess he did a really bad job or something. Hmm. I got another nail. Oh, I got another nail. Alright. It's like. No. Hmm. Just glad it, it didn't pop during like when I was driving. I would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. That would have happened here. <laughs>
so we're at 340 yards total nice. so well no actually because i maxed it out with the 60 and that was at so it was 150 yard well we maxed it out at what was it 275 so from 275 to 340 you're looking at 70 65 yards yeah, it would be 65 yards of top shot is what you got on there. Because I forgot to zero it out after I uh, pulled off that back off to 150 yards. So, <clears throat> 65 plus 150, you're at two... <laughs> 200 something, right? Yeah, I got a calculator right here. 150 plus 65, you're at 215 yards total. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> So normally I write down the size of reel and the weight class of line and so forth when we are doing something like this. But with everything I had going on, I guess, <laughs> not very good at juggling too many, I guess. Uh, well, for this morning, I think it was the um, loss of all the bait that we had alive. Um, that was really annoying me. So when it came down to it, you know, we were doing our best to ensure our customers were taken care of but also too that they could get back on the road because they did drive almost three hours from where they live um they left real early in the morning to be here so i know they were extremely tired so i was trying to get through it as quickly and efficiently as possible with what we had going on and for all the reels that they had brought in to get you know fixed and or updated with the, li the lines that they brought in and our lines as well so So that took a little bit of uh, number remembering and stuff like that, but I would have to admit, <clears throat> after seeing that, I'm not real <laughs> fond of that Siegler. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to reach out to them and tell them the aim. Because they've had many problems with their reels, and people don't really like them. I'm kind of not liking it much either, but I want to just keep trying it. <clears throat> I guess they're made more for small fish i mean because yeah like pompano red. yeah, red stuff like that you know um but yeah for me that scares me because there's a lot of times that i'm using the rod and the handle and i'm pulling back on both and you put enough pressure on it you're going to offset you know the, the bridge and everything else from the spool and that yeah that's gonna that scares me that really does scare me for you <laughs> all right what else do we got uh, you can just pull this 